Next stage, a man looking for trouble. What can you see beyond the darkness? Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. It sound right, boy. Boy. It sound right, boy. It sounds on time, boy. Hello, this is Peter Austin live streaming at, I mean, it's two minutes past five now, but that's only because we have two minutes of the sniper at the beginning of the stream. But uh, hey, look at me. Look at me on time. Look at us. Who'd have thought? Not me. Certainly not me. Yeah. Um, Hi, Peter. How are you? How oh. was your weekend? Very happy to catch your stream. I was poorly last week with mental health. But the content from you and the team really helped a lot. Also, I raised my Patreon tier this morning for the month. Been meaning to do it for a while, but now decided to go through with it. Hope you are doing well. Big love you my dude. You and the team really mean a lot to me. You whip. Uh, thank you very much, Stephen, for a thousand bits. Yeah, I saw. I saw earlier that you've raised your Patreon tier. Thank you very much indeed. Um, there'll be an art stream next week. Second to stream in a month um so that's exciting we'll be doing doing some painting um so that's great uh and thank you for the bits as well Stephen. i'm sorry to hear you had a, a rough mental health week last week but glad to hear that we were that we offered some um uh you know consolation or whatever whatever the word would be the appropriate word but all the best to you and thank you very much for the bits thousand bits that's, that's a lot uh, Lolly Llama subscribed by Twitch Prime for 26 months, currently on a two month stream. 26 months, baby, says Lolly Llama. Indeed, 26 months, well done. Uh, thank you very much. I don't know why I said it like that, that was really sarcastic. Um, I'll tell you why I said it like that, is because I, I sort of left my brain and mouth on autopilot to just say, say some words, and at the same time I was thinking how much my jaw is aching today. So I occasionally have like a, a bad achy jaw. <laughs> And so if you see me today throughout the stream, just sort of going, ah, oh, then that's why I'm having a good old stretch of the old TMJ. Um, 
So uh, yeah, it's a bit, it's driving me to distraction, literally, to the point that I couldn't even get to the end of a sentence, thanking Lolly Llama for 26 months subscribed to us, which is an absurd amount of time. Uh, so thank you for that. But uh, yeah, well, I'll power through and I'll be fine. Um, C Bandit 12, thank you for being with us for 21 months. Uh, Peter's on time because he knew I had a resub message to share. I mean, that is the main reason. The other reason is, because I'm playing Tomby, everything's just really nicely set up. All I have to do is like launch the software about two minutes before I want to go live and then just go ding and it just... Well, I was about to say it just works. I mean, it worked before I hit go live and then, you know, sometimes things just go completely skew if as soon as you have an audience watching you. Um, then Steven Skodes has gifted a uh, yeah. two tier one subs. Good morning. Hooked up the PS5 this weekend and feel like a big kid gamer boy or girl. Played Astro and started Kenner. Looking forward to catching up on lots of games. Boy or girl. Uh, Steven gifted two tier one subs mm -hmm. to the community. They've gone to uh, Mixer Knight and Rosie Chu. I remember that name, I think, Rosie Chu. Uh, and that takes T Steven up to 258. Thank you so much, mm -hmm. Steven. We're at level uh, two and a half of the hype train. We're on our way to filling up level three. Look at that. We've got three minutes left to do it. Thanks, everyone. That's great. Um, then we had Dewey Goliath gifting two subs, taking Dewey Goliath up to 442. Now that is absurd. Uh, and they've gone to Kill Jester 89 and Willy Bopper 92. If you are a Willy Bopper, make sure you have consent to bop the willies. Otherwise, uh, that's not a good thing. Thank you, Dewey Goliath, for, for the a frankly ludicrous amount of gift subs that you've uh, sent our way over the, the past couple of years. Thank you so much. Uh, not a tadpole with a hundred bits. Good morning. Hooked up the PS5 this weekend and feel like a big kid gamer boy or girl. Played Astro and started Kena. Looking forward to catching up on lots of games. Well, I hope you enjoy it, not a tadpole. I really enjoyed Astro. Um, I've not played it since when I first got my uh, PlayStation, but um, yeah. it's, it's a great game. Thank and you for brightening up my Mondays with your streams. A highlight for me every Monday. They are always a fun time and make me laugh and smile so much. Thank you for being an awesome human being. TTJ Dick Salute. Dick Salute. Uh, and Kena as well is lovely. I really, I said it every time someone asks me about what I thought of Kena, and whenever we've talked about it on podcasts and quipscopes and stuff, the thing that really comes to mind straight away, apart from how vibrant and lush and beautiful it is, which it very much is, but uh, the soundtrack to that game is just so nice. Um, and I find nowadays I'm a bit more... Uh, not cynical is not the right word, but like I don't notice video game soundtracks as much as I used to. Like, or you remember old soundtracks from when you were younger because of the nostalgia factor, and uh, you know, I think. Well, personally, I have um, I I have a bit of a memory for kind of uh, how things sound, and and uh, like I I used to find it very easy to know like movie quotes and stuff off like le learn them very quickly and you know I could watch a film like once or twice and I'll be able to like recite stuff from it later on and uh, you know people talk about being an auditory learner which apparently there's not a, a great deal of um, academic evidence for visual learner auditory learner uh, and things like that. So I'm not saying that that's what I am because I don't know if that is a real thing. But in any case, I find it easy to remember sounds and music and speech and stuff. So maybe that's partly why, for me, it's like older soundtracks that stick with me, but Kena and Crash 4 as well probably is another big recent one. But uh, Kena like really just stuck out to me very, very kind of noticeably. As soon as I was playing it, I was like, oh yeah. It's a bit different, I guess, as well. It's just, just generally, you know, in interesting instrumentation and so on. So yes, it's a good game and it sounds great too. Uh, Forgotten Media has gifted a sub to Steins, uh, Stein, Steins Nason. Thank you, Forgotten Media. It's your seventh gift sub to the channel so far. It is very warm in here. I've done the classic TP thing, or not just TP thing, I think the classic triple jump streaming in this room thing of blasting the, the heating. In fact, I've just turned it off, which is probably not a good idea. I'll put it on like, I'll just bring it down by about eight degrees. Um, this room is right by the front door and it's very cold in Britain at the moment. It's deceptively cold. 
There was ice this morning on my way into work, uh, and uh, this room gets flipping freezing because yeah. no one's in it for most of the High day. TP. Uh, and then you Just come in here and you're like, okay, heating on full. Must have been difficult the full is like 29 degrees Celsius, and then it gets franchise. very warm it in here. Get but only after about it's long list after 10, 15 games. minutes. So it's normally when BDW, you're live at that point, and then you go, oh yeah, I've left that on 29 degrees. Forgotten media, thank you. Seventh gift so far. most of our conversations go. Uh, Trillion Jones, subscribe via Prime for 24 months. Thank you, Trillion Jones. Two flipping years. Heck yeah. Happy to be a very quiet, lurky member of the Clan of Walry. Well, we're very happy to have you, Trillion Jones. Thank you very much indeed. Um, uh, Charlie Badger says, is it aching from st stress slash clenching? I get that frequently. I do not normally when I have like uh, an ache in my jaw, it's because I do clench. What, uh, particularly in my sleep. I don't know if I grind, but like I, I just clench it shut. Um, and I don't think I'm sort of stressed at the moment or, you know, I don't think I've, that's what, just, what has actually been happening. Sometimes it just, if I, it, if, I don't know, if, if I maybe talk a lot or chew a lot or do, do whatever, just move it around a lot during the day. I think sometimes headphones can do it to me as well. I don't know, but uh, yeah, it's not, it's not great. It's pretty sore, but I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you, everyone, for your concern. Um, Steam is good as with 200 more uh, bits. Thank you for brightening up my Mondays with your streams. Highlight for me every Monday. They're always a fun time. Make me laugh and smile so much. Thank you for being an awesome human being. TGJ Dick Salute. Thank you, Stephen, for 200 bits. That's very kind indeed. Uh, Lucy B raises a good question. Do I need consent to bop my own willy? No, no, you don't. Well, you need your own consent. So yes, yes, you do. Uh, Lord Brotovich subscribed for 36 months with the classic tradition of resubbing during a Peter Austin stream. Uh, wowzer, three whole years. This is a scary amount of time and I feel very old. Uh, this, uh, when this thing started, my back only hurt occasionally, but now it hurts all the time. And of course, it's only a real resub when it happens during a TP stream. So all is perfect. Thank you, Lord Brotovich, for three entire years, on a three entire year streak, no less, of being uh, not just a mod, but, but a, a viewer, that alone makes all the difference. So thank you, Lobrotovich, for modding and viewing and blazing for three years, which is a bit scary, actually. That is that is troubling. Uh, Donak says, did my sub go through? Uh, have, I, have I read a, a Donak? Donna C? Yes. I, well, I might not have read it, but yes, two whole years. Hope you're doing good. 24 months. Thank you, Donna. Uh, it was in between some gift subs up in the chat, so maybe you... I don't know if it'd be whipped, but it's there. I see it, and it's much appreciated. Two years, a lot of anniversaries for uh, today for everyone, or this month, uh, which is exciting. Forgotten Media with 100 bits. Hi, TP, just finished watching Zelda Ranked List. Must have been difficult to do a worst to best list with such an acclaimed franchise. Probably get easier when you get to Sonic or the long list of Marvel or DC games. By the way, me and my older bros seem to have an, an encyclopedic mind full of TV and movie references. It's how most of our conversations go. There's no better way to have a conversation than with an encyclopedic mind of TV and movie. So I am with you there. Um, but uh, yeah, the rank lists can be can be tricky at times, but it's all on Philip Reed. He Philip writes it and we Philip read it. And that's, that's how it's done. So uh, you can take it up with him uh, if, if anyone doesn't like the results. Uh, so, people are saying, are you not hearing Robot Lady? TP talking over Robot Lady. Not T not Peter talking over that. Have I stopped getting Robot Lady, but you guys are getting her? I feel like I've not heard Robot Lady for a while. H am I just talking over her? Because I don't remember talking over her at any point. Let me do a test donation. Yeah. Yep, okay. I can't hear that, but you guys can. Um, how did we fix this last time? Well, sorry, everyone, for me just talking over Robot Lady, probably for a while, because I'm quite far up in the chat. I know, I've caught up now. Um, oh, it will have been when I stood up. It might have been when I stood up to go to turn the heating off. There's a weird thing where if we wiggle our headphones in this setup, we have to, you guys will have seen it, particularly on the joint stream. Is it this one? This might be it. Let me do another test. 
Yeah. No. This that's is not a it. test donation for eighty-one pounds. Uh. Uh, <laughs> desktop audio, will that do it if I now? Yeah. No. This is a test donation for £38. if I could just close OBS and restart it, but I can't do that without cancelling the entire stream. I will I'll give, I'll give Benjamin, Sir Benjamin of Potter a ring, because I think last time this happened, he just said, leave it with me, and I carried on streaming, and then I think it just started working. I don't know if it started working because he fixed it upstairs, or if it just started working. Um, B Poots. Hello, Ben Potter. Hi, you having some problems? Yeah, do you remember? I mean, we're live. We've, we've been live for a while, and I had I had Robot Lady fine, and then I've just been chatting for a bit, and I feel like I I felt like I'd not heard Robot Lady for a little while, and then I saw in the chat people saying, "Oh, TP talking over Robot Lady," and I was like, "What?" And now, do you remember like a, a couple of weeks ago where I just lost Robot Lady sound, but they can hear it? Uh. I remember last time it happened, it just fixed, it, it got better, and I don't know if that's because you were working on it upstairs, or if it just fixed itself. Um, well, I fixed the cloud bot, the Streamlabs bot in the chat. Right. Uh, who was responding to commands, I didn't fix that. No. I think it might be a case of restarting OBS, unfortunately. Well, that's what I thought. That's probably, the, that's the solution that we can do. Okay, I think I'll have to yeah. do that then. No worries. Okay, I'll see if I can see anything on the back end, but I think that might be the only option. Yeah, I've fiddled around with like OBS output devices and stuff while live, but I think it might just be close the software and restart the stream. So. Oh boy, sorry, Peter. That's all right, no problem. Serves me right from sta uh, for standing up and turning the heating off. I think I wiggled the headphones and that just confused all the devices. So, That's uh, it. That's yeah. it. Game over. Mm -hmm. Right, no worries. Thank you very much. Have a nice stream. Yeah, you, you have a nice afternoon. Bye. Bye. Ben Potter there, everyone. Um, I mean, I thought that might be... I, I thought that was a solution, but I was hoping there would be another one. Um, I am going to have to press stop streaming, close OBS, reopen it, and go live again. I'll be back in, like, a minute or two. See ya. I wouldn't want to be ya. Hello. Yeah. This is a test donation for twenty-three pounds. I hear it. Thanks, John, for twenty-three pounds. Test donation. I'm back. I've got sound. I can hear it. It's fine. I'm yeah. here. Hello, robot lady. Hello. Hello. Hello, robot lady. Hello. So sorry to anyone whose uh, robot lady messages I just spoke over uh, before. I couldn't hear her. You guys could. It's fine. <laughs> it's not fine. Uh, shall we play a bit of Tomba? Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Um, we don't hear it. Lucy B. You're being rude. You're being, you're being a TTJ cheeky Ben there. I think, I think you're lying. Uh, good. So, yeah, yeah. Wherefore art thou, robot lady? Uh, robot lady, right here. Although, wherefore art thou doesn't actually mean where are you. It means why. Why are you? Uh, a fact there. Wherefore art thou, Romeo? Why, why are you, Romeo? I don't know. Just, just that's what I was called as a child. Um. Uh, I can't actually... Oh no, I can't hear the game now! Hang on, let me... Out of interest. 
Can you guys hear that? You probably can't. I think if, if, you, if I can't, you can't. Uh, that's fun. Why's that happened now? That's, that's rubbish. Uh, this will be a, probably a slightly different issue, though. I don't think this will be the same. I won't have to close the uh, the stream again. But hey, I really jinxed myself, didn't I, by saying um, maybe I had the I had the emulator open the whole time. Do I just need to do a fresh launch? Yes, that's all it required. Okay, that's good. I think that was still open before I was fiddling around with devices, and I'd just not given that enough of a, a reset. Uh, let me just get it onto my right, the right window. Uh, good, well, is that true about the Romeo thing? I didn't know that. I believe so, Boring Loner. My Shakespearean knowledge is not good, but I'm sure someone told me that, that wherefore art, oh no, hang on. Wherefore art thou Romeo? essentially means, why are you Romeo? I think she's kind of, you know, she's saying, oh, why did you have to be you? And why did I have to be in love with you? Uh, I don't know. I've not read it. Um, so, hello. We are in the Donglin. No, we're not. We're in the Laughing Crying Forest, but we're next to the Donglin Forest. Here's Baron. Ah. Oh. Our friend Baron, the dog, with the big flying ears, uh, has been turned to stone. It's bad. Um, I think it's playing the wrong music here, isn't it? This isn't the right track. I like it. I like this one. Yeah, that's the right music. Uh, and so this is the Laughing and Crying Forest. It has scary fruit that laugh and cry. And if I eat them, I laugh and cry too. Uh, and if I eat a pink one, it will make me go back to normal. When I'm laughing and or crying, I can't swing my weapons. So it's it's not really a good thing to be laughing or crying. Uh, danger. Don't touch the three posts that protect the grapple. Okay. Do not touch Willy. Good advice. Um, so that's a laughing door. I'm going to eat a, a laughing fruit so I can get in there. Here's one. Up we go. Switch with Donglin. What? Oh my god, it's a bit it's a bit terrifying really, isn't it? My phone just vibrate. Where did I put it? There I did. There, there, there it is, I mean. There, there I did. I put it there. Uh, now did we... Does one of the, the, the guys... Um... You know the, the guy? You know the guy. Hello? You know the chef? Does one of his foods cure a laughing and crying state? Dried fish sandwich, steak sandwich, and a hash brown sandwich. One of them cures the oily smear, which I think was steak. I'm gonna just try. I might just eat it though. Oh no, here we go. Yes, I guessed right. Dead Eye Minis, hello, thank you. For a 36 month. Uh, as it's been decreed that it only counts if you resub during a TP stream, I have to do this quick. Three whole years of great times and not even a sore back to contend with. Dead Eye Minis, I'm very happy for you. Hey, hey, you saved me. You're pretty good. Want to become my follower? What? No. He says no. Hey, and then how about if I tell you about my travels? Okay. I'm on a journey to look for the Tower of Wisdom. <gasps> this is the third tower we're learning about. It's a legendary tower located somewhere in this world. I've searched all over this region, but I haven't even found a doorway. Is there something I need to do? Hmm. Hey, 
Hey, hey, surely there will be some great treasure lying around here. Right, okay. Uh, so this is a switch, and if you stand on it... Oh, do I have to hit it? Oh, no, you push it into that little... There we go. And if I stand on it now... It turns these donglins around, uh, which can be useful. At the moment, I'll just leave it as it was, because if you don't know what it's for, it, you, you're thinking, what, why, why would I want to know that? But um, this, by the way, oh, I can't, I can't do it because I'm laughing. <laughs> it's so funny. I've already been in that crying door, I think. Um, so, here we go. Look at that. I wonder if I can... Oh, no, I can't. Can I hammer it? Can I hammer here? Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, right, I'll try and try and grab it then. Uh, Theo the Second, thank you for subscribing for 33 months. Dead Eye Minis, by the way. Oh, no. Uh, that's three years. That's madness. Well done to all the three year, to all the three year subs. Okay, we got a rare shrimp. Brilliant. Oh, I can't even grab that. Normally, you can grab these with a the boomerang. Okay. Well, fine. That's not even worth jumping in for. No! Okay. Give me the gem. No, I don't want that. I don't not want it, but I'm not jumping out and risking my life for it. Huh. I'll wait till it's got nothing left for me. Did you all have nice weekends? I think there is a finite number of things you can get out of this thing. I could be wrong. Uh, Stephen Skodes has gifted a sub to Bent Rackle 12 taking Stephen up to 259 gifted subs. Thank you so much. Um, okay, we'll probably call it there. I don't think we're going get, to get any more stuff out of this. I'm just going to check that I've been through this crying door on this save because I might have just been through it to show you at the end of the last stream and then not save the game. Um... I hate, I don't know if it's a Japanese game thing specifically, it certainly happens in a lot of translated Japanese games. Um, oh, what now? I've, I've only got sound in one speaker. I know, it's come back. No, has it? Not quite. Okay, right, I'm going to have to do a robot lady test now because I think that I moved. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. This is a test donation for £57. I hear that. Do you have a grapple? No. Be oh, didn't mean to do that. Uh, yeah, him saying, that seesaw, he doesn't mean that, it, like, uh, that implies that the seesaw he's talking about is right there, but it's not. It's like in the next area, and you do sometimes get that in uh, translated video games. Like I say, it might not be a, a Japanese thing specifically, but saying that seesaw, or the seesaw, when he means, you know, one that is later on in, in, in the world. Um, it's kind of a weird thing. Magic water! Uh, so, I'm gonna head up here. Uh, I need to... What is this, a crying door? You can't enter any present state. 
Shut up. Uh, oh, hello. Quick, before it changes. Right. So, gonna go up here. Oh. <gasps> Put that away here. Whoa. Look at this guy. He's got a vine arm. He's putting books up on the shelf. Out the back here. Um, can't climb this ladder because there's a thing in the way. Uh, and there's a normal fruit there, and we're currently in a laughing, st uh, crying state. So I know what happens here, but I'm just trying to trying to walk you through it in a way that you might have experienced it as a new player. So we'll step down here. And remember this sign that said, "Caution! Don't touch the the doodads, the the thingy thingamabobs that hide that protect the grapple." Well, as you can see, there's these posts everywhere with little strings. Um, and what you do is you... Oops. Biff. Oh. Yes. Um, so we're, we're going to gradually break down that pile of earth. And <laughs> spoiler alert, there's going to be a grapple inside. And the last one, go crying, cry, cry, there we go. The last one was up here, remember? Uh, but how was Peter's weekend, says Samuel B. Music 98. I had a very nice weekend, my parents came up to visit, and uh, we went out on some, some walks, we had some nice food. We just spent time together, had a lovely time. It was great. So we can now go up that ladder, but we're not going to do that. We're going to head down here. Get ourselves a grapple. Remember we got the blue treasure chest key near the end of the last stream? We helped that artist. <sighs> a grapple? It's, it, it works like this. Hell yeah. Uh, and you can, this, I mean, this changes the game entirely. Having a grapple and flying squirrel clothes, we can get pretty much anywhere we want to get in the game now. Um, so, I mean, we can even do things like this. If I head up here, there is a treasure chest above me here, which... I wouldn't ordinarily be able to reach. You don't get enough jump height. But if you grapple and then just... So you can go up and down and you grapple like this. And if I go up, Turbo will swing over. <gasps> Turbo pants. So you, you're constant. Oh, they've been equipped. You're constantly wearing pants under your clothes. So they do help you... Uh, I think, you, you, you know, you move a bit quicker and stuff. Moving, wearing these make... Wearing these make Tomba run very fast. I've never read any of the item descriptions in this game, actually. Bird clothes. Light clothes that let Tomba glide through the air. A hammer with burning flames. A cold weapon made from the ice used to freeze... Uh, made from ice used to freeze the enemy. Okay, cool. Uh, so we've got a grapple now. And I'm gonna... Oh! Oh, oh no. 
Hell yeah. I love using the boomerang like that. Like, it doesn't come in handy that often, but when you do a little skill shot. Oh, yikes. Uh, it's quite satisfying. Uh, so some of these donglins, I think maybe only the bouncy ones. See, these ones aren't bouncy. If I, if I jump and land, he just lands. But this one is a bouncy one. Like that. And that switch that we uh, had that was that switches the orientation of the donglins, we can use that to turn some of them upside down, like this one already is, and it becomes something that I can grapple from, you see? Um, which can be pretty useful. It can also be useful, actually, having chests that you don't yet have the key for, um, because you can kind of use them as... Uh... Use them as uh, grapple grapple points, or you know, just for platforming and stuff like that. Oh, it's not going the wrong way. Hang on. I mean, it is going the wrong way. I'm, it's not going the right way. Joet 1118 subscribed via Prime for 33 months. That's an awful long time. Thank you very much indeed. Uh oh, it's spiky. See, there's a dongling up there. Don't want this ghost to grab me because it'll turn me invisible and then I can't wear my clothes. Ow. Right. I'm going to swing on here and then go upwards. Like that. I should just be able... Yes. To hit that. And jump over here. Joe it says, or Joe T says, uh, 33 months, keep up the good work. Thank you very much. You look happy studying snow fireflies. But you, the smallest one of all. That looks different. Love to investigate that. What? What? Uh-huh. Just a little joke. Actually, I'm not interested in anything but snow fireflies. Oh, so this guy is, a uh, he's, he's studying bugs, and I think he looked at Zippo and was like, oh. I'd like to investigate you. You don't look like a resident of this forest. If you ever see snow fireflies on your travels, be sure and tell us. Do you have snow fireflies? Can I have some? Yeah. Don't worry, he doesn't give them one by one, because I've got about 20. Now I have more bugs. 15. Hmm, nice, but not as many as we'd like to see. We need more of them. Please, see what you can do. So, we've got to collect snow fireflies for this man. Um, oh. Uh, let's grab that. Any more gems? One here. Oh, green chest. Pot of life. Good. Uh, I am gonna. So there's all kinds of things now back in like the previous uh, previous areas of the game that we've uh, not yet uh, been able to access or or complete or you know there's all sorts to do. So um, I might magic wings my way back to this. I'm trying to think what else I'm about to unlock coming up. Maybe I'll maybe I'll progress through the game a little bit first before we do some backtracking. No, you're not having me. We'll just go to the next step. We'll complete the Donglin Forest, I think, is what we'll do, um, which is actually quite easy. It's not not far off. Uh, I just need a crying fruit here. 
And we've got to do that as well. We've got to make sure we can... We've got to... There's a load of doors and stuff we need to access. Laughing and crying doors. So I could come here, eat the right fruit, and then magic wings my way to the place where I need to be. You know, there's a laughing door above the, the trolley stop, for example. Um... Or I could wait until you get an item where it lets you enter laughing and crying states at will. You can carry it with you. Um, so this area is kind of designed as, as, a, as a grapple proving ground, which is quite fun, really. down here. Now one other thing the grapple can do, because it's a great big pointy thing. Oops. Didn't mean to go in here, but fine. Nothing. Brilliant. Um, is, remember these? Springy things? Ow. They're painful. You can pop them. Secret of the aquatic plant. Now, do you remember in Turn B1, we had those springy rocks, whatever they were called, pump rocks. <laughs> we had to go around and hit every pump rock. It's basically the same idea. There are various ones of those, those bouncy things spread throughout the world, but it's a bit easier to see whether you've done them or not uh, in this game, because the pump rocks, it was just a question of standing on every one of them, and apparently they change colour ever so slightly, but you can't really tell. Uh, whereas, now in this game, uh, we just have to stab all of the, the blue water plants uh, and they will vanish entirely when we've done them. So you know which ones you've done because they're not there anymore. So if you ever see one, you know you've not done it because it's there. Uh, so we've got more seesaws in this area. We'll be going into the background. Oops. Really using that 2.5D. Um, huh. So these are these spikes are obviously bad, and uh, oh yeah, I forgot they do that. That's not a glitch. Uh, it sends you all the way back to the start if you land on the spikes. Um, and uh, you'll have you you will have seen there was a little white cube on those spikes there. Well, the way that you get those cubes, it's kind of weird. Um, is if I move one of these things, the seesaw, then it, it locks in place, right? So now if I stand on it, it's locked. But you see next to that, that spiky, there's a spiky board here that will hurt me. But the spike has a little white symbol behind it, and that means that the cube is now in place down here. It's kind of a weird system. Uh, yeah, it's sort of towards the back, that one. So we wanna do all, all four of the seesaws Get them all locked in place so that the the cube is there so that we can cross the spikes. It's, it's a very strange puzzle. Uh, it's not difficult, but it's just odd. Uh, hello? There we go. Look at all the gems in this world, in this in this area. Uh, so, let me head over here and lock this one down. Oh. Device guards the treasure. Yeah, that's true, actually. Um, if I... If I make my way there without locking all of these seesaws, you'll see what happens. Uh, so I think we've got three of them, but one of them isn't locked. If I go through here into the treasure house... See, there's one of these walls is still up. So again, we just need to get them all locked. It's kind of weird that I don't know. I don't, I don't know who designed this this puzzle. It's kind of strange. Another tiny mouse's house. There are a few of those throughout the game. Um, so many adventure points here. Uh, music composers from Tomba and Tomba Two are legendary ones. Harumi Fujita. Shina Ozawa, uh, Capcom titles, Tekken, 
Metal Slug, uh, and Ashif Hakik, rest in peace. Crash Nitro, Sly Raccoon, Bloody Raw, Twisted Metal. I love this OST with all my heart. Bartek, it's a great OST. I did not know there was such OST royalty involved in it, and that is fascinating. Uh oh, I'm gonna die. Well, never mind. Oh, come on. What am I all the way back here for? Can't be bothered. So, let's go again. Now you understand what's going on with all the puzzles. Uh, we don't lose any progress, really, which is nice. So all the gems have been st still been acquired. All the chests have been opened. It's good. Uh, only the fruit respawns, because that's just a health item, so. Oh! Oh! He's a leaf on the spike down there. That will be useful at one point. Um, I think it doesn't matter which way you swing these, uh, These seesaws, as long as you just give them a hard swing one way or the other. You can also bash that thing out of the way at the top to unlock them. Oh, so that's facing one way, the symbol. Oh, and it turns upside down the other way. Ah, okay. So maybe it does matter. So these ones are facing upside down. In fact, I've got enough of them that, oh, yikes. I've got enough of them that I can reach this place. Uh, this is a, a rock crab, I think, or something. Even though it's clearly a tortoise, not a crab. Uh, can I access the AP box at least? No. Uh, you can bash them upside down like that. Uh, oh, what? Can I? That looks like there's somewhere I could go through there. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, I'll come back for him when it's relevant. Uh, so if I now... If I lock this one with the symbol facing... Yeah, the other way, does that not give me a, an extra cube down here? Yes, it doesn't. Okay, so it does matter which way, and it probably affects the treasure... The treasure house at the end. Um, so I'll have to go and... I mean, I'll just... I'll do them all and see what happens. But uh, if, if the treasure isn't accessible when I get there, I'll have to just look at the symbol on the... on the pillars. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's done it. Oh. Come on, treasure house. What have you got for me? Uh, so it's downward face. So, uh, yeah, they've all been lift. Oh, okay. So you can either go up or down. So, uh, three of them have the symbol facing downwards at the top. What? Okay. One of them is not like the others, is is what I'm taking away from that. And so I've got a... So that's... That's down. That one is down. Oh, what? I thought there was one here. Ah! Uh! Oh, no. Didn't have my grapple handy. I died. <laughs> Okay, so I want them all facing down if I want to access the treasure. Oh, come on! I think I've just got to look at the sign when I get to the deep forest, and I think it'll sort of save it there. I think it's just, this is where my my last checkpoint is. Um, any update on the fate of Grombot, says Lolly Llama. Well, sadly, Grombot, or doesn't Grombot, is just not to be anymore, which is terrible news. If I look at this sign, that might checkpoint me. That's my... 
That's my biggest... Not regret, because I don't think it was necessarily my fault. All I did was... Well, I didn't even voluntarily do it, but all that, all that happened was my computer updated. And now I can't play the movies anymore. Um, but... Yeah, that was a, a sad thing that happened. It was a real shame. One thing I do keep forgetting to do is restart the... Or resume the... Uh, Community comic. Okay, that is facing upwards, so I'm going to switch this one. Okay. Oh man, that's kind of hard to reach. There we go. Uh, no, I want that facing the other, ow, facing the other way. Okay. And I want that one facing the other way. Oh. Okay, well, so this is something that happened. I was trying to not do this until later, but if you disturb the bug... In fact, if I leave the area before he does it... He might not do it. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, I just need to do one more, which was that last one. I don't know, the bug might the bug might make it all the way there. Is it back? No, it's, it's doing it. It's going. Okay, that's fine. The bug is making its way back. Oh, there, there it is. Okay, that's fine. Um... So, I think I've accessed the treasure now. Hey, hey. Oh, what could it be? It's probably just a lunch or something. Oh, it is. I was being facetious, but it's it's a healthy lunch. Uh, but now we've got to switch, switch all the things back the other way. Grombot not forgotten. I love that. That's, that's excellent. Um, so this bug, I think, follows me, actually. I think that's how it works. So I'm switching these back. Or maybe it just follows the... Or is it not like the spiky? Is that is that it? Come on, bug. Or it literally just follows me, I think. Either that or it follows gravity. Let's just let's just do the bug. So the bug will go along along the plants. Along the along the little spider webs. Don't know if it avoids the spiky. Okay, I think it's I think it's gravity that does the does the bugs. Come on, bug. You're all right. That's it. Nearly there. There's a nice tasty leaf for you. So it drops down on there. Potato bug eat leaves. Uh, and then I think if I... Do I land on it? Is that how it works? And then it just... Takes me all the way back. Fortunately, there's a little cut there. Um, I've completely forgotten what happens. But anyway, brings you back here. Right. Is that it? Is that... Oh, hello. 
Oh, it just lives there forever now. It means I can get back quicker. I think. I think I can just ride the bug if I want to. Uh, anyway, that's fine. The, the little spider web things have gone now. So I want these things facing the other way. Man, I forgot how tedious this was, this puzzle. It's not It's not great. Right, so they're going to be facing upwards now if I want to get through to the, the whatchamacallit. Um... Oh, here we go. Oh, okay. Maybe maybe we didn't get the treasure. What we that that lunch was not the treasure. We're about to go and find the treasure now. Uh, okay, this one's not locked, but by the it looks like they don't actually actually have to be locked. Uh, I'm gonna grab this chest. Oh no, I'm not. Oh, that was a bit scary. That could have been bad. Right, so through here. The real treasure was the lunches we made along the way. In tr or ate along the way, in indeed. So, here we go. Oh no! The dramatic music. Uh oh, there's a lot of ghosts. Remember, this place has been cursed by the evil ghost pig. Use the use rock crabs for balance is the name of the quest. Why use? Why does everyone use animals for contraptions in this world? We had uh, Win with his crabs, golden crabs, and we had the Kajara thingy. Oh, I get it. If one more rock crab is placed on the scale, the weights on both sides will be the same, and the contraption will go off. Oh, well, the Contrabulous Fab Traption of Professor Horatio Huffnagel. Okay, right. So we're gonna. We're gonna quickly now make our way downtown, gliding fast, faces past, and I'm homebound. Um, just gonna sort of hope that enough of the seesaws are in the right place for enough of the cubes to be in the right place for me to be able to access the rock crab area. Ow. Uh, Uh. Yes. Oh, all of them. Perfect. Oh, steady now. I'm going to actually eat one of my lunches. A healthy lunch. Lovely. So to get the rock crab, I have to whack it. And then gr grab it. Rock crab acquired. Um... Definitely, definitely a tortoise. There's so much treasure in this area still. I've got all these gems and things. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to access the next area by solving this pig book problem. And then if I read the sign there, or even just... Uh-oh. No. Oh. If you do a power attack like that, you have slightly longer range. Oh, that could have been bad. Uh, and then once I've accessed the next area, I'll be able to magic wings there all the time. So even if I come through here and the pillars are in the wrong orientation, I, if I come back again, I'll just not have to worry about it. So we'll never have to do the seesaw puzzle ever again. Um, right, this is not a crab. Look, it's got four legs, it's got a big back, and then that thing wiggling around is its head. That is not a pincer, right? It's a tortoise. Throw it. 
I bet he throws it. He always does. There he goes. Oh no, too many hard words. Can't the glasses guy read it? Has he run off and left the kids? Oh, that voice. Uh-oh. Gengar. Or whichever one it is. Be gone. Whoa! Oh my god. Kynan? He's magic. Maybe I overdid it a little. <sighs> what? All along he's been... He's been a powerful man. A pig bag. Hmm. This book also has a hidden pig bag. Flipping Gandalf over here. I know. Here, this is yours. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Let's see. This book is too difficult for you. I'll study it for you. Maybe the next time we meet, I'll know a little more. Hmm. Um, excuse me. Where did this hole lead to? The circus town. Or should I say, pig town. Oh, good one. Pig town? You'll know what I'm talking about when you see it. Pig town? There's loads of police there. <laughs> Tomba, who is this Kynan? Very rude. Who is this Kynan? You're right. Man. I remember I remember that whole scene playing that for the first time as a kid and I was like, whoa. It's pretty It's getting pretty serious this game. So we're in another 3D area here, look. And it's a circus town. And these are some visitors to the circus. But uh you see in the background there? Visitors are a rare event around here. Well, long ago, this used to be the home of a wonderful circus. But as you can see, this village has been cursed by the evil pigs. All the villagers have been turned into pigs. Naturally, they can't speak human language anymore either. What shall we do? But if you could talk to the villagers, we could solve this problem. Well, I can't if talk to them because they're pigs. If you put on a pig suit, <gasps> you'll be able to understand the pig language. A pig suit? Look, there is a child wearing one now. That's a pig suit. Mm. There are only two pig suits in this village. This is obviously one of them. Do you see the closet key hanging on the wall of that hut? Yeah. That key opens the closet holding the pig suit. Okay. The closet's in the circus warehouse. It's easy to find. Right. Noted. Um, there's some interesting puzzles in this uh, level, I remember, actually. It's been a while, but... Huh? Hannah? I'm looking for the get well plant to treat my mother's injury. Ah. I came from the coal mining town. I'm in a hurry, so please, hope my mother's all right. Hmm, okay. Where's my son? I don't remember a woman in the coal mining town. Uh, so, we're not going to do circus town stuff today, I don't think. But if we speak to, for example, the clown. 
I'll give you nightmares. That's horrid. Uh, every pig you speak to, every pig person says that. Um, so these aren't evil pigs. These are circus performers who have become pigs. Don't like it. I don't like it. And I'm leaving. Oh, one of these. I think I carry a water bucket with me now, don't I? Oh, bucket. Uh, hot water. You can use hot water on flowers. It's fine. Splosh. The magic flower is healthy. Magic wings acquired. Lovely. Uh, okay, so we're going to leave the area. We're going to come back here another time. In fact, at this point, well, yeah, while I'm while I'm near. The Dingle Dangle Donglin area. Um, the sound that pigs make uh, proves 100% there is no god, says Lucy B. Oh, this man who ran away. Oh. Alright. Chill out. No need for that. Um, so now I'm just going to clear out this area of all of its treasures. Um, there was a, yes, there was a treasure chest here. Healthy lunch. Well, that was not worth it. Um, and then there's just loads and loads of these diamonds and stuff all over the place. One up there. Uh, what happens if I fly all the way over here? Nothing, I don't think. Nothing there. Um, oh, there's something down there, though. Oh, there's a white treasure chest as well. Uh-oh. What I'm going to do is... Grab that. Yes. And then hopefully... <gasps> yeah. There we go. That'll do, mate. Anything else? Any more treasure? Red chest. Is that one in the background or is it? Can't even tell. Oh, I got really turned around then with, with the... Am I gonna die? Yeah, I died. That's fine. We're making gains. What? What? Why is it still bringing me all the way back here? Um, do I want to... No, I'll be back there at some point. It's fine. Uh, so, we're going to magic wings back to the starting beach to the town of the fishermen because there is more for us to do all across the world. And at this point, we've got... Hello, uh, Dangav484. Uh, welcome to the chat. First time chat there. Uh, so I've got enough, I've got loads of pig bags now. I've got like three or four. I don't think I've got four. I think I've got three pig bags. I've got one from the coal mining town, one from the Kajara ranch, and one from um, a ghost one. So, is that a, a special fish? No, it's a, it's a normal fish. Dude, come on, please. Um, so, uh, here's something that I've been keeping from you all this time. If I whack these so that all the ones that can be either red or blue are the same color. Uh, I think there might be some further, further up the... Uh, Further along. Oh no, there's one up here as well.
How do the birds look? Do they grow at all? I thought they grew. No, they just get get all plump. I think maybe they, they grow at the very last minute when they're required for they're they're needed for like a, a pretty late game quest, which is kind of fun. Because you know they're they're one of the earliest things that you do in this game. Oh no. It's sort of gonna bother me that I've got fish in my inventory if I don't put them out here. Even if I never pick them up again, I'm just going to get them out of my inventory, put them on the drying net, and we'll be fine. Small fish. Seatbelts150 subscribed. Uh, thank you, Seatbelts, uh, for 36 months. Currently on a 36-month streak. Three years, four babies. Just call me Mayo because I'm on a roll. <laughs> thank you very much, Seatbelts. Did I do a Twitch? I don't get it, says Dan Gav. Yes, you did. Welcome to Twitch. Hope you're having a good time. We're playing Tombi today. Tombi 2 or Tomba. All right, have I spiked all the things? Yes. So these are all set to red. So if I move further along, some of these also have color on them. And if I... Oops. No. Blackjack. <sighs> They're all red. Zippo POV. So I've drained the water out of those channels. And I think there's little items and stuff in there. Fish. And the gold fish hook. Remember the gold fish hook? And also... Remember the gold fish hook? It was a gift. A gift to the fishermen. And look now, all these seesaws, the ones that are on hinges, move around like that. It's fun. Uh oh. So, any treasure up here? Just a white chest. Well, that's fine. Uh, so, do you remember this area? Uh, with the stuff inside, and I was like, oh, one day we'll be able to get in there. Well, now we can. By doing that. And that is a healthy lunch. And two magic wings. Um, and we'll be able to give the gold fish hook to the fisherman. <sighs> the gold fish hook. Dun -dun -dun -dun. We got the blue chest, didn't we? There was a blue chest either in there or up here. Or is it? No, it's at the far, the far hut, and I think we already got it. Yeah, we did. Um, is the water drained out of here as well? Yes, it is. Lovely. Um, so I'm going to give the gold fish hook to the man. This is one of the last quests I ever completed in this game, actually. I didn't realise that um, you could do that. I never looked up a guide or anything, and I, just, I guess I never had all the sea souls on the same colour. Welcome. Can't remember what he gives me. Oh yeah, I know what he gives me. It's a mermaid scale. So now if I fall into the water, I won't lose any HP, which is nice. Um, if you fall off cliffs, it's an instant game over. But if you fall into the water, it puts you back on the shore, but, but knocks off one HP. Uh, but not anymore. So we're going to move on. So yeah, as I say, now that we've got a few um, pig bags, 
We might end up finding a, an evil pig boss at this point. We've got like half of the pig bags, so statistically speaking, I think we might... I can't remember where any of them are. Oh, I remember the locations of the... Uh, I remember the locations, but not which pig is hiding in which location. Therefore, um, yeah, I don't know which ones we've got, basically. Uh, but, so, something we've been wanting to do for a while is go underneath these pipes, remember? Ah, stop it. There's all this, been all this stuff hanging underneath the pipes that we've not been able to access, but now with the grapple... With the power of the grapple, we could do it. <laughs> I can actually grapple uh, from underneath flying enemies. So like this pig, for example, I can just dangle from him like that. You can do it with the birds as well in the Kajara Ranch and they try and dive bomb you. And then as they dive downwards, obviously you go downwards as well because that's how physics works. Oh, there you go then. The ghost pig. Um, I'm going to try and not actually... Uh, well, I'm going to die. Okay, I just made it. Uh, right, here we go. I want to just get all the stuff first. The ghost pig is actually uh, genuinely a bit creepy. Um, oops, didn't mean to do that. I don't know you could do that, actually. Uh, so, let's, um, yeah, let's do the ghost pig. Let's, let's do a, a pig fight, because they're a bit more fun in this game, I found, than in turn B1. So you release the bag that we just picked up. Oh no, here it comes. I always thought that his hand was sort of uh, almost severed. It's like nearly, nearly headless Nick. I think it's actually just a glove hanging from his wrist, but... Well, on his wrist, but it, it looked like it was dangling. Oh. Look how creepy that is. Imagine being a, an eight-year-old playing this game. You? you? Cat, cat, cat. Oh, he didn't say it, yeah. Uh, in a minute, he laughs at Tomby. Tomby says, like, Tomby's like, no, I don't. Obviously, Tomby doesn't speak. And then this guy's head spins around and around and around, and he laughs. But the way he laughs is he sort of goes, Bleh! he sort of does a boss nass. And then the subtitles of his laugh are ke ke ke, and it, oh, the whole thing just creeps me out. Oh, now I see. Look at his head. Now I've got to fight him. It's great music, by the way, when you fight an evil pig in this game. Oh. We're in a sort of upside-down house. Da -da -da. So we have to catch him and throw him three times into the pig bag. Yeah. Happy 420 BBB B -B Blaze it my dude's Lord 16 dab. I guess we are not really in the forest anymore, but our best friend Baron is probably still there. So here are so foresty jokes. Okay. Why did the tree need to take a nap? Forest. Ha ha ha. Forest. What must trees drink responsibly? Root beer. Hi. -e. Where do saplings go to learn? Elementary school. 
Ho ho ho. Elementary Which school. Which Canadian city do trees love the most? Montreal. Oh, elementary ha, ooh, school. Ooh, ooh. What do you call a really big tree? Tremendous. Tremendous. Ha, ho, ooh. Moggy Forest Fire. Moggy Forest Fire. Lord Brosovich, thank you very much for blazing it. Blaze it, everyone. It's 420. Uh, the yeah. sex number. B B B B B B B B B B B Ghost Pig B B B B B B Blaze it. Stephen, thank you for the 100 bits and for Ghost Pig blazing it. Um, so we're here. We're doing it. We're going to fight the pig now. Um, so we land on his oh, head if we can. Oh no! Quick grapple. So they'll occasionally appear and just snort at you. This guy's throwing ghosts at me, which I can only defeat with, I think maybe an ice boomerang. Oh. Yeah. Still haven't caught those ghost pigs then? Just the one ghost pig actually. Although I have to throw him in this bag three times. Whereas in turn B1, you only have to throw them in once, I think. The, the the evil pigs are way scarier and, a, and more serious in this game than they were in the first. Right, here we go. The bag moves up and down, so you got to time it a little bit. There we go, that's one. And then he fights it, it goes all spiky. <laughs> and he comes out. Might have a lunch. Uh oh. Thank you, the Aldu brothers, for the bits there. He's in. One more will do it. And when we do that, we're going to cure the Donglin Forest of its evil pig curse. Which doesn't do a great deal to the Donglin Forest, actually. It's the least dramatic... Uh-oh. Yeah, on their final form, the... Ah! Uh, what's it do? I don't know what this, does, what this does to me. It slowed me down. But I still landed on his head. Oh, no. It hurts me as well. Uh, Donglin Forest doesn't change that much. The water gets less, less stanky. Uh, and when I eventually learn how to swim, which I will be able to, I'll be able to swim in it. Whereas I think even if you learn how to swim, if you try and go in the dong uncured Donglin water, then uh, it, it's not good for you. Um, get off me. But curing a place of its evil pig curse doesn't even get rid of the little fodder pigs that are there, I don't think. If memory serves. And it certainly doesn't get rid of the native wildlife. So there will be... Oh no, certain certain enemies still there. Ah! How do I, how do I not get hurt by this thing? I'm gonna die. Eat a lunch. I'm glad I've been collecting all these lunches all this time. Right. Okay, it's going up, it's going down, it's going up, it's going down, it's going up. We got him. Are you ready for some absolutely spectacular music? Uh, oh, evil pig clothes. Listen to Tomby. You did it, Tomba. Oh, it doesn't do it in this one. Wow, Tomba, it's an evil pig row. In Tomby uh, 2 on the PAL version, or maybe it's only for the final evil pig, when he jumps up and cheers, he actually makes a noise. He goes like, nah, like that, but he didn't do it there. But maybe it's only the final boss. Uh, we've got an evil pig robe. Put on this robe, and you can use some of the evil pig magic yourself. Ooh. We can do ghost pig magic now. Hmm. Use it wisely though. The magic wears down if you use it on enemies. And what's this? 
the evil ghost pig robe curses the enemy or something. I wonder what happened. I can't actually remember what the ghost pig robe does. I think it just sort of makes them vanish. Turn into little skulls. Oh. Oh, that's weird. It's not doing the transition effect. It's supposed to sort of fade and fizzle into that, but it just gradually cross-faded. Anyway, we've cured the Donglin Forest. It's just gone a bit more green. But when we cure pretty much every other place, there'll be a much more noticeable difference, which is very exciting. Um, so, while we're here, should I ever go at the trolley stop? <laughs> I'm going to set myself a limit of five goes, okay? We've got turbo pants now, so that might help. I don't think it will, but I'm going to do it. You going again? All right. <laughs> do your best. What is it, one minute twelve? We got this, everyone. First try. Ready? Will Peter manage the trolley run in five goes? Place your bets, everyone. Channel points. Best bit is I've completely forgotten the course now, so it's, it's highly unlikely. Yeah. You can do this, TP. We believe in you. TTJ Dick salute. Oh! Jeez, that was very scary. I had to hit the brakes there. Oh, we got real slow then. I think I would have fallen, though, if I'd not hit the brakes. Da, 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 da. Eight, nine, ten. Oh, t one minute ten. I was well off there. I lost the whole two seconds. Thank you, Stephen, for the bits and for the confidence. You're wrong to have that confidence in me. Try not to hit that break, you know? That's go number two. Three, two, one, go. Okay, I wasn't going as fast there. That wasn't as good an, in, uh, an opening as my first attempt. I don't think. I think I was moving slower. Because I didn't jump as far. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh! You made it. Eight, 
It's got to be 1 minute 10, isn't it? Look, 0.56. I mean, I, it must be... I was half a second out there. Half a second Three, out. Okay, that was a better start, faster opening. But then, yeah, if I'm going too fast there, I lose all the speed. I have to hit the brakes, otherwise I'm going to fall off. And I lose all this speed. I'm crawling along here. Oh, that's painful. That is painful. This is like my first attempt. There's no way I'm going to make it. Four. Not good. You made it. Was that my fourth? Fourth go? Try again. For everyone who bet on me, this is for you. Not a bad start. A little bit of break in there, but not, not as bad. Yeah, see, I did, I did a bit. Well, it got pretty slow at the top, but okay. He didn't do it. Old TP. He was half a second out on his third attempt, but sadly, uh, chat had nearly no confidence in you, says Lobrotovich. Well, good to know that I've at least not let many people down by failing. Um, <laughs> man. Man. Tough. To full game there. Uh, so now I've got this evil pig magic thing. Um, let me. I'm gonna test it on this this guy. So if I put my pig clothes on, if you cast magic, it will just target nearby enemies. Oh, it's vampiric. Okay, so uh, it gives me health. When I uh, when I get them, so that's cool. Uh, and then if I I think if I use magic water, restores half of Turnba's magic power, and magic juice restores all magic power. Okay, cool. Uh, so that's mana. But you really very rarely use. Well, I very rarely use magic in this game. Um, what one of the quests requires you to use ice pig magic uh, a fair amount, but I think that all of the other magic isn't necessarily required at any point. Um, so, yeah. Uh, here's a quest we can do when we get to the coal mining town. We never got Charles' baked banana, did we? Um, so... I will go and bake, bake a banana. Oh! Remember this? Been running past this for weeks. It's a coal mining bell. People say the bell can get you back to the place where you started. 
Here, Tomba, you found the coal mine bell. With this bell, you will surely get back to the coal mining town. People say the bell can get you back to the place where you started. Oh, looks like it's being repaired. The whales are still missing. Oh no, he did the wrong... Uh-oh, he did the wrong dialogue there. I'm hoping that's a one-off glitch. He's not been, like, knocked completely <laughs> off kilter now. Let me just speak to this man. Hey, have you found the blue treasure chest? Yes. Uh, so, what's the banana situation? Which is a phrase I've, I very rarely say. Okay, I've got a banana, but it's not been baked yet. Uh, hope you all enjoy the one channel point you have all won. <laughs> so, swing the hammer. Oh, there's a blue chest over there as well. Pop a banana in it. Give it a beak, son. What's the time? Half past six. Okay. The banana situation is my debut album. Uh, baked banana. Ow, that's hot. Okay, I can't get across there because of the evil flame pig lava. So, that's for a post-cure scenario. Charles is up here, is he? Yes. And there's a green chest in here as well. Baked banana. Enjoy it. Watch him eat. Oh. Oh. No. Thank you so much. That was a lifesaver. I really owe you one, Tomba. Yeah, what are you going to do for me? Don't give me a pot of life. I swear to God. I have something you can use. Oh. Now, let's go get Tabby. Right. Off he goes. Uh, that's a viewer from Johnny Boy eleven thirty eight four one one three eight four. I don't know how you how you want that read. Uh, thank you very much indeed for subscribing via Twitch Prime. Welcome to the Walrus Clan. That's a first time sub from you as well. Much appreciated. Always a great to see a new sub. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, so remind me what's going on in here. We've got. Yeah, what uh, what happened with the pot? We left the pot with this guy, didn't we? Was he just... Has he fixed it yet? Was it this guy? Oh, Clay. Yeah, I got it from the mud ball. Wow. It's here. C-L-A-Y. Clay. Clay. This, this. This is it. This is what I wanted. All right. Just wait another minute. Yeah, we're just carrying all this, all these items around that we've been gradually picking up that I've forgotten all about. We've got the clay from a mud ball, remember? And this man's going to make a replacement pot. Whoa! I hope we don't have to go and fire it in the it's oven. Ready. I did it so fast, I even surprised myself. Yeah, me too. Thank you. You helped me to create my first work of art in a long time. In gratitude. I give this pot to you. I'm just satisfied that I could create a fine work of art. Thank you. Master's Pot. Uh, Johnny Boy says, been a long time poly slash video slash triple jump fan uh, and subscribe to Patreon. I don't know why I never subbed here until now. Better late than never. Thank you, Johnny Boy. Absolutely. There's no, uh, no expectation or demand, but... This guy's voice acting is quite something. My pot! Can I knock it off again? Probably not. Give me something. I know. You guys know the courage song? <gasps> what? Oh. It's a song I learned a long time ago. Sounds sort of like an incantation. 
teach them. Still, to me, it has kind of a half-baked feel. But it ought to help you guys on your trip. Courage spell half learned. So, we know half of the courage spell. We can, re we can do the courage spell anywhere at any time. Nothing happened here. So, um, remember we've been told about the Tower of Courage, the Tower of Wisdom, and the Tower of Strength by various adventurers? We require the full Courage, Wisdom, and Strength songs to get to those towers. Now, you can do half... The half... Um, the first half of those um, spells, if you sing them at the right location in the world, it will reveal the door to the tower. But you need the full spell to reveal and unlock the door. So, I have to remember to use those. Ah, it's just a hint telling you that that's where you can get a mermaid scale. Be careful. Watch your body points. What? What? Your body points? I'll just see if the potter has anything else to say. Probably not. Have you eaten the cook's dishes? Yeah, I have. Uh, so, are there any more houses here? What's this? Oh, is this... Th yeah, I was gonna say, isn't there a lady somewhere who's missing a son? If you meet my son somewhere, will you tell him to come on home? Mm-hmm. I'm worried about him. Well, I met him. Uh... So that's the cook's place, and then up here is Tabby's house and Gran's house. So we're pretty much done in this area for now. So now we go to Kajara Ranch. Which emulator do you use, says Samuel? We, uh, this is the uh, EPSXE. Um, but there are a few different ones. For PS1, I find EPSXE is fine. It doesn't doesn't cause any issues. But our go-to PS2 emulator is PCSX2, uh, which actually isn't that reliable. Quite often we have issues with it. We have to mess around when we're doing worst games ever and stuff, so it's not it's not ideal. But, uh-oh. But, uh, you know, what can you do? Leave this bird alone for now. Um, but one thing I can do, yeah, I forgot about this, is go up here, ah, and push this rock off. Get your rocks off. Oh, I hit the bird. Uh, and that has released five snow fireflies. Oh no. Oh yeah, Snow Fly Fly Nest. So uh, we'll be able to give those to that guy who's collecting them. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna die. I had, a ch I had a second chance there and I flubbed it. Never mind. <laughs> nice to see Toby still stores things in his stomach. Yeah, he does. It's kind of weird. Especially given that a lot of them are living creatures. So you might have noticed a, a grapple, uh, although it can be used to swang around, you can't use it to defeat enemies that will just sort of punch them. Uh, but we will eventually come across an item that can do both. Which is very exciting. Yeah, we've still got all sorts we can do. We've got the three girls who live on the ranch who wanted to play another game with us. Remember that? 
Oh, we've got chests in here. Magic juice. Da, 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 da. I'm really excited. I've got a package awaiting me at home that I bought on eBay recently. It is a full US import DVD box set of Canadian... Can... Hello? Canadian children's TV CG late 90s, early noughties television program reboot which some of you will be familiar with and many of you will not be ah and uh i i had to buy a region free dvd player to be able to play it i've not even i've not actually tested that yet so i'll be very disappointed if i get home and i can't play us dvds but it's a region one dvd it was never released in region two I've been looking forward to it arriving for a long time. And I've also, similarly, got a Region 1 box set of um, Beast Wars coming as well. Transformers. I really, I just had a real itch for those early CG kids programs. You know, where everything's like weirdly animated and normally takes place in a bit of a desolate plane. It's normally just flat as the eye can see, uh, as far as the eye can see. Um, and I love it, and I, I can't wait to just immerse myself in Re Reboot and Beast Wars. It's going to be brilliant. And it, uh, it's supposed to have arrived today. Although, uh, allegedly, it went through my letterbox, and I'm, I feel like it shouldn't be big enough to go through the letterbox. I'm a bit worried it's going to be all shredded when it arrives. Uh, there's a ghost sticker. Oh, I didn't mean to pick up the potato. Ah, oh, can I eat it? Can I just eat it raw? I don't want it in my inventory. Oh, I might have to go and boil it at some point. Give it to the chef. Hello. Hey boy, you beat me, so... Have you seen the Toka danger sign? No. Well, I've never gone past it because of the dangerous Toka. It has a strange smell. I guess you should read the other signs, too. It has a strange smell. In fact, that reminds me, I've not been up there for a while, and now I've got I've got a grapple. There might be... Hello? There might be some, like, chests and things up there. Um, so these are the coca birds. Uh, oh, yeah, skill shot. Um, now, I'm going to let you in on something. I never clocked this when I was a kid, or I didn't for a very, very long time. But you see the bricks in the wall here? Just a little bit of bricks here. I noticed um, the one in the coal mining town, or, or the, the mine area, the pipe area, because uh, that one's a bit more obvious. But this just looks like a bit of accenting. But, and this might not even work, but one of the three towers, are the locations to the towers are noted by bricks. Uh, but this might not be the Tower of Courage, so it might not work. Um... Nothing happened. Okay, it's the wrong tower, but that's how you... That's where you find them. There are three locations in the world that... Oh, hello. That have um, little bricks on the wall. So, if we see more of those, we'll be singing our songs. You can't reboot reboot. They did. They rebooted reboot on Netflix. Not seen it, but it looks kind of rubbish. Uh, the concept was not well received, says some. Oh, you mean the reboot was not well received? Yeah, of course. Uh, the villain in reboot was awesome looking. Yeah, I know. Reboot looked like a PS1 game. I think that's why I like it. Sorry, I missed all this excitement for reboot and Beast Wars in the chat. Um, yeah, I'm so excited. Really, really just can't wait to go home and watch bad CG. I'm actually a bit more excited for Beast Wars than Reboot, but uh, only because that's a bit more kind of weird and wonky. Reboot is like good and, you know, I'm looking forward to that as well. But uh, 
I mean, Reba's still wonky, don't get me wrong. It's like very early animation. There's a lot wrong with it. But what I mean is... Beast Wars is like especially odd. And it sort of doesn't always land well. And I don't know. It, it's, it's very good bad, I think, uh, Beast Wars. Whereas Reboot is sometimes good good. And sometimes good bad. Uh, so, yeah, in a way I'm more excited to watch Beast Wars for that reason, but in any case, I, I'm excited for both. So, yeah, it's going to be great. Has the sculptor finished the, the, the whatchamacallit yet? In fact, I don't even want to spoil it yet. That's for a quest later on, so we're not going to... I'm not even going to go there. I don't like turning up for quests, being given the quest and then already having the item in my inventory... I think it's not as interesting for you guys as viewers. So. Look at this. I've got this here. It's got this fella in it. It's a rare squid. I've seen some squid in my time, but that one. Mighty rare. Tool shed. Oh, we already got the few... Oh! Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about this. So once you do one one quest with Charles, he'll then move on to his next area. So we've already been here and he wasn't here, but it's because we've just... I think I have to jump on his head. Calm him down. It's a pot of life, probably. Uh, I think I've got... I'd love to, but I don't know. Help me. It's so itchy, I can't stand it. Oh, it's making me itch now. Uh, I think I've already got, in my inventory, <laughs> Itchy Charles. <laughs> uh, itching self. Do I? Yes. We had something similar in Poland, but kids sent letters with ideas and uh, show evolved in the direction of the most voted idea. Uh, as you could guess, it was wild. Yeah, it didn't... Um, is that in response to... Uh, wasn't there a vote on Reboot? Or am I thinking of a different show? I don't know, maybe I'm thinking it's a different show, but there was like a kid's show where people like vote. Oh, Jeopardy, it was called. That was nothing like Reboot at all. It was a live action Australian uh, show, but people voted on the ending of Jeopardy. Did it work? Oh, I just rubbed oh. itching salves into his backpack. What? Oh, yeah. The itching stopped. Well, why are, you, why are you still doing that? Maybe you were bitten by a bug. God's sake. Oh yeah. I promise to give you something. Here you go. Pot of life. Hey, Tomba, Hippo. Right, yeah. They burn off by themselves again. I guess they can't wait to meet Tabby. They. That's a translation error. Um So all these pot of life, you'll see that we're gaining all these pots of life, which are supposed to increase my maximum health, and they're not doing anything. It's just as they're being stocked. And that's because we've sort of reached max health, kind of. But there is an item out there that will allow me to go beyond 8 out of 8. Um, and when we get that, all of these stocked pots of life will suddenly come into their own, and we will uh, we'll be able to enjoy them. Have we been down here? Have I shown you this 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 guy down here? Look at this. Hey, you've come to see my collection. What do you think? Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> and then there's just a zoom on this sad jellyfish. Pretty cool, huh? What's your language? Rare fish. 
We got that right at the start of the game. It's got legs. Is that legs? I never noticed that. Is that legs? In all the time I played this game, I don't think I noticed it had legs. Ho ho! That's got a beard. It's a bearded shrimp. And now we've got this wiggly thing. It's like a flying squid. Ho ho! So there's only one rare item left. I can't remember what it is. We'll find it. You're giving it to me? Thank you. Thank you. Ho ho! Legs emote when. That's a good shout, actually. Ah! I'm getting oily smeared all the time. Right, uh, so there's also this room down here. Let's go and do the, uh, the girls challenge. The operations room. This is where we cut into baby animals. Hello. With a name like Tower of Strength, it must be a oh yeah, we've already done this. Uh, hello, ladies. Oh, you're back. Okay, next, let's play detective. Let's play. Still want to play? But what sort of game is detective? What's detective? Well, you try to find out which one of the three of us is lying. It's a logic puzzle, everyone. If you guess right three times in a row, you win. Okay. If you find a liar, you give that girl this. Give her this. It oh. It's the badge of liars. If you win, we'll teach you a secret song. <gasps> For the tower. Ready, set, go. Who's the liar? Tolda's friend Charles is a monkey who wears fancy pants. True. With a red key, you can open any of the treasure chests. Lie. You use the ice boomerang to put out the cavern's fires. True. You win. Oh. But we've still got more to go. Can you get the next one? Yeah. Next, listen to the three stories, then find the liar. Stop clapping. Please. Okay. The girl in the pigtails is honest. Right. Don't believe the one at the other end. Okay. Now I like I really like these kind of puzzles. By the way, can I give the badge of liars to this man? <laughs> no, I can't. So she said don't believe the one at the other end. So if she's telling the truth. We're not to believe her. And she said the girl in the middle is honest. But if we're not to believe that, that means that the girl in the middle is a liar. And she said that the girl in the pigtails... What did she say? The girl in the pigtails is honest. So if she's lying... then that means that she is also lying. But there's only one liar. So, and she said... The one in the middle always lies. Okay, but if she... So there's only one liar, is the point. So she's saying the girl in the middle always lies. So that means that she is lying. But if she's lying in saying that she is honest... That means that she would also be lying. So that can't be true. She must be telling the truth, right? And if she's telling the truth, 
then that means she's telling the truth because she's saying that she's telling the truth, which means that you are the liar. Please. I'm going to look like a big dingbat if I'm wrong. You win. Hmm. Great. I got it. But we've still got more to go. Can you get the next one? There's a good book full. It's a, a, quite an old book. It's a bit dry, but yet yeah, also quite enjoyable. It's full of uh, puzzles like this. They, they, they get harder and harder as they go and it walks you through how to solve them. It's called What is the Name of This Book? And it's by Raymond Smullion? Something like that. It's got a picture of Tweedledum and Tweedledee on the front. Um, okay, last problem. Watch our moves closely. Oh. Watch our moves closely, okay. Oh no! Blue, two. She's got green, white, blue, orange, green, orange, green and white, green, red, white. Oh no, blue and white. Okay, she's got two balls, blue and white. Who has the ball? Can you tell? I have the blue ball. That's a lie. I have the white ball. That's true. Oh. Uh, it's possible you don't have a ball. I don't know if you do, but I'm pr I'm fairly certain you don't have the blue one. Hell yeah. Turn be really scratching up a storm in his ass there. That was great, Mr. Detective. Tolva, you were great. We will now sing a secret song. Okay. Strength spell half. Hmm. That's all I remember from this song. Oh well. If you ever get lonely, think of me and my song. Thank you. Let's play again sometime. It's funny because this guy talks about the Tower of Strength, and I'm right next to him. What if I sing it to him? What will he do? Nothing, probably. Nothing happened here. Uh, so, have they got one more game for me? Yeah. I knew that. Lie. You are the liar. Take my badge. Okay, so we've done that. So now I'm going to head on over here. What's the time? Oh, it's five past seven. I wanted to wash some Kajara. But I don't have time to do it. Oh, hello. No. Boomerang. There we go. There's no point smashing all this stuff up because I don't. And what color chest? Isn't it a white chest? Down here. Or is it? Yeah, okay, it's white, so that doesn't matter. I don't need to don't need to bother with that. That is a crying door, so we can't open that. And there's a green chest down there, which I could get, potentially. Oh, I think you can only get it if you've not smashed up all this ice, probably. Or maybe if I jump off. Didn't I try and do... Oh, no, yeah, you, you need to jump and fly, but you also need a grapple when you get there. And that's why I've not been able to get it yet. But now I've got a grapple. Pot of life. At least it fills your health up, I suppose. But Right, so we're not going to wash any Kajara. I think I'm just going to make my way back to the end of the Donglin Forest. Um, 
do a little bit of clearing up. What does Fam say if I speak to him? Hey, Fam. It's my Fam. My three daughters seem to like you guys. Feel free to come visit any time. I will, Fam. <laughs> -na 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 -na. Oh, we've got new music because we cured it. It is quite nice here now, look at that. Maybe you don't get pigs here anymore. Oh yeah, I was wrong. Oh no, there's a pig. There is actually a, a quest up here we can hand in. We've not even been given it yet, but I've got all the component ah, parts for it. Um, oh, actually, I have to be laughing, I think, to get there. Yeah, it's up here, and I need to. Okay, well, I can I can go and do that quick. It's no old McDonald, this song, is it? Uh, sadly, Baron has not been freed. He wasn't turned to stone by the ghost curse. He was turned to stone by something else. Uh, now I need to be laughing, don't I? I've already forgotten. Baron. We'll free Baron. We might be able to free Baron in the next... The next stream, potentially. I know what I have to do to free... I know what item I need to free him. Uh, and I think... Well, I know you can normally get it from the circus down. But there's a... You have to do something first before you can actually access it. But, yeah, I don't know. Um... Which Mizuno's hidden house? Can I still talk to her even though I'm laughing? What child? Need something? Oh, I'm a little busy right now. Making some magic powder. Oh, huh? Oh, what have I done? I seem to have forgotten that ingredient. Remember there was a witch in the first game. I forgot about that. There's a lot of crossover, really. A lot of overlap. Remember I've been throwing stuff inside the sea and enemies and getting dregs? Oh, do I have to actually hand it hand it to her? Uh, oh, I've got some snow fireflies as well. I could try that with him. Uh, where are we dregs? what she actually gives me out of it. It's like red powder and blue powder or something. I don't remember what it does. Yeah, all right. I can only get one portion out of each sea and then... Jeez, just... Why can't I give both to her at once? Right, so give her two blue drags. Oh, you... Now, what does she make? And then it's just an anemone, I think. Oh. Look. Look. Ooh. Cold powder. What does it do? This powder has imbibed the 
the special properties of the sea anemone, it boosts damage due to heat or cold. Right. And it retains its power no matter how long you keep it. It's a great item for an adventurer like you. So does that mean if I hit people with my... So, the type of powder depends on the type of sea anemone used. So if I hit people with my snow boomerang now, will it, like, hurt them more or something? Is that how that works? Uh, in fact, if I highlight it, it might tell me a bit more. Protects against ice damage. Oh, she said it increases, didn't she? Or something, I don't know. I don't... I mean, how often do I receive ice damage? Does that mean I can wander around... in the snow without my squirrel clothes on because I never take these off so that's no use to me uh, but maybe if I get hit by the snow pig when I'm fighting him or something fire damage happens quite a lot though An enemy. Hot powder. This powder has imbibed the special properties of the sea anemone. It boosts damage due to heat or cold. It doesn't boost it, does it? It's the my inventory says it resists. And it retains its Okay, great. Uh walk comble. That's an excellent name. Uh, got to be careful saying that after you've had a few drinks. Thank you very much indeed for subscribing. Oh no. I can't swing my... Can I cure myself of... Yes, I can. If I eat a... What was it? A, a hash brown... A hash potato sandwich. I'm cured of the laughing state. Oh, hell yeah. The chef actually did some good for me after all that. Oh, I just missed. Shooby dooby. And an enemy. Jeez. <sighs> right. This might be enough for him. I don't see them appearing out of the leaves and stuff when I'm running around anymore, so. This might be, because he's got 15 and I've got 5, this, if 20 might be all he needs. Now I have more fun. 20. Is that enough? With this many. <laughs> Ooh, we're here! <laughs> <gasps> what? Oh, it's so what? bright. Ooh, that's bright. Stronger than I expected. Ah! Let's put a curtain over. Fears those stone fireflies can reinforce each other's light. At any rate, it's too much. Can't possibly carry them around like this. Had enough research, right? Need something to block the light? Something to carry them in? If you can carry them, maybe it'll help you little folks on your trips too. What? I've heard around here about something. A lichen box. I think it's in that ghost sticker right next to him, but I just need to be a ghost to get it. Um, thing is, if I'm a ghost, I can't wear my squirrel clothes. Is there an invisibility fruit in this game? Does anyone know? Can I become a ghost when I want to? or Because like, I can make this man ghost me, ghost me up. But but now I can't get over there because I can't wear my, my my ghost clothes. I don't know. That's that's weird. Um, I've, I've forgotten. I've forgotten how you how you do that. I 
Oh. Okay. There must be an item that lets me go ghosty and non-ghosty. I need to bite that ghost now if I want to get back to normal, unless there's a food that can do it. I can't remember. What's the other food that I've not eaten? A fish sandwich. Yes, okay. But yeah, I don't know how I make myself invisible. There must be an invisibility fruit. Um, anyway. Uh, right, I'm going to have a quick scout around the Donglin forest again. The, the Laughing Crying Forest, I mean. Because uh, I'm not even... Have I actually... Oh, flip me. Oh, get off. Uh, is there a door here? No, there's not. Right, that's fine. So we've got a chest down here. Then there's all these like little water tunnels. We passed a few of these in our in our journey. We can swim into places eventually. Um, but that's coming in the future. So now I need to laugh, right? No, laugh. I was hoping that would change before I landed on it. Uh, the suggestions I found say use the fastest pants you have and grapple, says Post Barone. Okay, I mean that might be possible. Remember we can flip the... Oh, it's a crying door. I thought it was a laughing door. We can flip the donglins. Um, I mean, that might help. Let me... I might just try that now, actually. So if I turn all the donglins round... I'll have a go. I'll go ghostly. Peter, lure the ghost or wear fast pants and jump over there. There is a ghost near there. Oh yeah, see this one was the wrong way up before. But now if I stand on it, oh jeez. Right, so he'll ghost me up. I've got my turbo pants. Yeah, if I, yeah, I can make this now. There we go. That's how you do it. You gotta, you just gotta flip your donglins, that's all. If you'll pardon the language, very rude. Um, a light cutting box. Probably can't speak to a man when I'm invisible, can I? Fortunately, I've got all this delicious fish. What? I can't remember what you get. For ah! It's become a snow firefly box. Good luck on your journey. Right, so now we've got a box of really bright light. Uh, I sort of kind of remember actually it. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh. Yeah, I kind of remember what that's used for. I think it's a bit, well, a fair bit later on in the game. Um, 
but we've now got a box full of snow fireflies. He was studying them. Now he's done with them and he's he's put them in a box for us. Um, what does it actually say if I... A box that can hold up to 20 snow fireflies. Um, good. So... That's about it. We're going to... I'm just going to clear out the deep forest, as it's called. Uh, hello? What am I doing? Squirrel clothes. That's what I want. Uh, and I'm actually going to magic wings there so that I don't have to mess around eating fruit and stuff. Uh, deep forest. There we go. Bim, 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 bim. I have left all the donglins flipped, actually, which may or may not be an issue. Probably not an issue. Uh-oh. This is an issue. Oh, there we go. Remember, it flings me all the way back to the start if I uh, land on these spikes. Right, so I'm instantly dead, am I? Okay, if you go low enough to, to grab that <laughs> that gem, you just die. Uh, at least I got it, though. Just have one more look. I think there's a red chest there, isn't there, still, somewhere? Um, F's in the chat, please. Can I just perform an ad hoc poll here? How many people still call controllers joy pads? I don't. I don't call them joy pads. I, I used to call them pads a long time ago. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm very much a controller person now, though. Can I? Is there a, anything in here yet? Oh. Oh, yeah. I remember now. I thought it was a bit weird that that, that bug wasn't doing anything. He can't move. Sorry, I'll stop skipping the dialogue. Pumba, can't you do something? Wormy Charles. We can't even do it with Pumba's great strength. Charles, why don't you try eating the weeds? Don't be ridiculous. We don't eat the weeds. I'm not a caterpillar, you know. Haha. -ha. The potato bug eats leaves. That's literally the name of the quest. <laughs> Potato bug eats leaves. Uh oh. Oh. So yes, it's not just that it brings you to the other side of the spike. So I thought that seemed a bit odd. What it does is it goes in here, but obviously the first time I did that, Charles wasn't in here covered in leaves. But uh, there you go. Yay, we did it. What do you think he's going to give me? Place your bets in the chat. Thanks a lot. You saved me again. All right. I'll give you one of the treasures I found. A treasure? Here, here it is. This is it. It's not a pot of life. It's that item I talked about. I forgot. I was wrong. <laughs> Actually, some old codger asked me to give this to Tomba. <gasps> An old codger? So it's all yours. I was wrong, everyone. It's, um, what's it called? Do I even get to see it? No, I think it just instantly got used. But it's, it was, uh, it's the thing I talked about. So now look at my health bar. Oops. 
Got like 12 HP now. Hell yeah. That's all those pots of life have been storing. It gives you like a big leaf thing and it, it increases your maximum vitality. Excellent. Um, how are we doing here? No. Is this is this the bricks of another tower? It might be. I'm going to sing my two songs. Nothing. That could still be it, though. It could be the, the one that I don't have. Could be there. Because I, I, I said earlier in the stream, didn't I, that it looked a bit kind of conspicuous. Um, and uh, the others are just, they're definitely just bricks in the wall, whereas that one's a bit kind of, you know, there's sort of a bit of vines and leaves and stuff and but yeah i think that might be might be the the, th the other one uh, oh hey finally caught a stream happy monday austin well hello dirt master thank you for being here and welcome to the chat that's your first time chat but i'm afraid the stream's about to finish sadly uh blimey it's half past seven i can't stop playing this game but i am going to now literally just going to get us to the pig town and uh We'll call it quits there, I'm afraid. So, <laughs> Dirt Master, very sorry. Oh, can I just send this boy home? Is, is it as simple as that, or do I need to... Find it quick. The get well plant will fix that injury. Okay, so he won't go home to his mom until he's got the plant. Fair enough. Look at our progress now. We've got three pig bags. We've cleared out one of the pigs. We've done a very nice number of events out of 87. That's excellent. Uh, and we're not actually far off a million AP, look. You know, the, the AP box is asking for a million. Um, got 900k. Over 900k. Uh, so... Okay, never, never mind any of that. Uh, let me just go back to this, actually, and do a quick save as well in the emulator. Yep, done. Uh, excellent. Well, everyone, I hope you've had a wonderful time with Tomby. I love this game, Tomby 2. Um, I really enjoyed the first one as well, but I was a bit up against it in the sense that... Oh, hello, microphone. I was a bit... You know, I didn't know what was what to do in a lot of places and it was a bit more of a maze and I didn't know how to get from one place to another. It's just like Dark Souls. Um, but uh, Tomby 2, as I've said since we started playing it, I, I know it mostly like the back of my, ha my hand. Uh, certainly in terms of navigating around, I know how to get from place to place and stuff. I don't always remember exactly how to solve the quests straight away, but that's yeah. good in a way. It means I'm not, it's not this just monotonous. This game is so much fun. It was another fantastic stream. Thank you, TP. Thank you, TTJ Stephen. Dick salute. Thank you, Stephen, for being here and for uh, for the bits there. Um, hope you've all had fun and uh, that you're still enjoying Turn 2. We'll have more of that. Not next week, though, because it will be an art stream. It's very exciting. I'll be doing some painting. You guys can paint along at home or draw or use digital art, you know, on Photoshop or paint or anything you like. Uh, Passport 2, whatever you want. Um, and uh, also, as uh, I'm sure I just saw, uh, yes, Lord Brotovich in the chat there with a link to today's list. 10 worst games of 2006. It's very good. It's an Ashton special. It's going to be good. Um, so, yeah, join me for some an awesome night of art live stream next week. Bit of anal, as they call it. Um, Rip Grombot. Uh, quick question. Who should I message about the Patreon rewards? Uh, you'll be, uh, I think you'll be messaged by, uh, by, by, like, our Patreon account. So someone will, someone will be in touch. They'll just like send you a message via Patreon or 
Discord or something. So don't worry about that. That'll be that'll be sorted in time for next week. Um, good. Uh, or if, if you've got a question, by the way, if you mean you've got like an actual query, then you can just message us on Patreon and like that's got an inbox system. But if you mean in terms of what to, to do on the art stream, we'll have that sorted in time. So that's fine. Uh, good. So, um, art stream, I'll do my very best to not have something going on that day. It seems to happen every month on the art stream, says Mr. Black. Yeah, it'd be good to have you, Mr. Black, to draw along with us, but no pressure. Don't worry about it. Uh, cool. Well, I'm going to end the stream there. I'm going to go home. I might even watch Reboot tonight. Hell yeah. Uh, so enjoy your evenings doing whatever you're doing. And I will see you when I see you. Okay, cool. Let me navigate over to the stop streaming button with my mouse. Then look down the lens professionally. Say goodbye and then press the button. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>